Holy moly. Look at that. Mm. I'm gonna go see my first Chicago Broadway show. Ah! Okay, fun fact of the day, everybody. I, I did not know that one. I am so excited to touch some balls. No. Yeah. Hi, my little honeys. This is a part two to my New York City vlog. I am in New York for a whole week. The first vlog, if you have not watched it and you're starting off with this one, that's totally fine, but I do recommend watching the first one. I'll link it right up here and you can check it out. It's amazing. Today is Thursday. We have three more days today, tomorrow, and then Saturday we are leaving. Something really big is happening today. If you are, you know, a returning subscriber and you know how much I love Sex in a the City, then you will understand what is happening inside of me knowing that we are going to every iconic Sex in the City spot. We're going to see the steps of Carrie Bradshaw's house. We're gonna go dine in at one of the restaurants that they went in the like old, old series. But before I continue on, if you are new, my name is Anastasia Puro, also known as your face social media girl. I'm a Canadian actor based here in Toronto. I post acting videos, self-love, body positivity, and of course, occasional vlogs. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to turn on the bell notification button so you know every single time that I post, which is on Fridays. Fridays. <laughs> We're ready to go heading out. We're doing today inspired Sex and the City looks. We're literally the Sex and the City trio. Who is your favorite character and who do you think you embody most? Embody most. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite Sex and the City character? Who do you embody most? Comment down below. Question of the week. Oh, today's also the Statue of Liberty. Liberty? Liberty. Yeah. Liberty. Okay. Bye. Bye, honeys. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're Sex and the City's waiting for us. So many parks is amazing because it gives you a chance to get away from the city and just hang out. So right now we are walking towards 66 Perry Street, which is the steps of Carrie Bradshaw's house. I don't think we're allowed to actually like sit on the steps because it's actually someone's house. You can Airbnb it and all that kind of stuff. This is it. Oh my God, this is where all of every walking scene she has, every time she's fighting with Big on the streets, and uh, guys, can we just take this in? This literally has a massive Ukrainian flag on it. We love this. Unfortunately, it is under construction, so we can't actually go in front of it, but I'm freaking out. This is so crazy. We just had lunch and I'm like, are you kidding me? My entire thing probably just cost me like $40 for lunch. I guess this is like a word of advice for all my subscribers who are looking to come to New York as a trip. You better be um, saving up some money. But anywho, Shereen and I are going to Statue of Liberty right now, the lookout point. And then we're going to go touch the bull and the balls of the bull at Wall Street. I am so excited to touch some balls. Never thought I'd say that on my channel. So we have made it to where the memorial area is for the World Trade Centers. So Shireen was just telling me that everything that's around right now, none of these buildings around me ever existed. Like it was just a big massive hole in like the city, just a big hole. All of this is completely new buildings and it probably took years to repair. <laughs> we came home. It is so hot in New York. I can't even explain it today. It hit 32 degrees. I'm wearing the pantsuit kind of matching pants set that we've all seen in my vlogs three million times. I feel like it's a very sex in the city look because we are going to this place called the Pineapple Club for dinner. And then after we're going to Balthazar's. Balthazar's is one of the bars that they filmed Sex and the City OG in. A lot of the restaurants that were in obviously original Sex and the City are not in functioning now. Especially after COVID, a lot of them did close down because they were open for like 30 plus years. But this is one of the OGs that's still here and running. Star number one. 
Oh, okay, work it, work it. Wow. Oh, okay, star number two. Okay, work while the other one's behind you doing your <laughs> lipstick. Sorry, we're going out tonight. I'm feeling alright. I'm not I'm feeling alright. Madison <laughs> is feeling fine, everyone, okay? Don't freak out my subscribers that you're like dying or something. You're not. Um, anyone? Highly, highly, highly recommend Pineapple Club. That was by far, out of all the dinners we've had, the best dinner we've had. Shireen went home. She's pretty tired. She's pretty pooped out. So my queen here and I, we are the Sex and the City fans. We are on our way to the Sex and the City bar. We're debating actually what drink we want to have because Carrie Bradshaw always drinks Cosmopolitans. I think Cosmopolitans <laughs> are disgusting. Same. But a part of me is like, maybe I should have it because... For Carrie. For Carrie. <laughs> Good morning, honeys, and of course, good morning, New York. It's 9.04 a.m. Last night was so much fun at this little restaurant, Balthazar's. I really recommend it if you are coming to New York. Today on the itinerary, we have Brooklyn. We're going to Brooklyn. We're going to explore all of Brooklyn, explore Dumbo, go to the Brooklyn Bridge, and then tonight... I'm seeing my very first Broadway show, Chicago. And we're gonna we're gonna go out to like a club tonight. Like dancing club. I'm excited. It's our first like club club here in New York. Let's see what the New York scene clubbing life is all about. first couple of impressions of Brooklyn so far. So I definitely agree that it feels like it's like a city within a city. Totally. It's not as loud. It's not as crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a lot peaceful. Cool. Very, very calm. calm. I think it's more like family oriented a little bit, mm -hmm. suburban style. Yeah, I think I'd also live in Brooklyn if I was here because I mean, you can kind of get away from everything, but then still go within a subway ride right totally. back. So interesting fact I just learned from Shireen. So the area within Brooklyn that's called Dumbo, it actually stands for down under Manhattan Bridge over Passing. I literally was like, oh, Dumbo, cool. They named it after like the Disney little movie. I'm like, <laughs> fun fact of the day, everybody. I didn't I did not know that one. Biking in Brooklyn. <laughs> we just had an amazing lunch. I'm pooped out. You know, honey, it's six days of just straight up like go, go, go all day long and then going out, you know, restaurant food, this and that. Like it really weighs you down. Like you're ready to, ready to head home after six days. I also forgot to mention what I really appreciate about New York and New Yorkers specifically is that nobody cares what you're doing. Like in Toronto, I get judged so much for being like vlogging and doing YouTube stuff and everything. And here, like literally nobody gives a flying fuck. Holy moly. We are all <laughs> This is the dress. This is like my fun, iconic dress I'm wearing. Big platform heels. My little purse to go with it. But this is the entire look. Okay, we gotta go because we literally are leaving in five minutes. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go see my first Chicago Broadway show. Ah! Okay. We just came back and now we're going to have a big discussion and tell Shireen what we thought of the musical that we went to because it is not a good review. So, I don't even know where to begin. Like, I'll take it away. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, Stoss and I go to a lot of shows in Toronto and a lot of the shows that are in Toronto like are either really small productions or they're productions that are about to go to Broadway. So the show I saw a couple weekends ago, it's called And Juliet. It was a test run for Broadway, and so that was like my teaser of what I expected Broadway to be. Yeah, of course. There were fireworks, a carousel, like really? shit coming from the, like I was like, oh, Broadway is gonna be like undeniable, insane. yeah. So then we see this Broadway, 
and it's Chicago. One of the biggest numbers in Chicago is um, cell block tango. Cell block tango, okay? and it's when all the women are in the in their jail cells talking about like the murders they committed, and it's all like of their husbands or their boyfriends. Okay. So I expected for Broadway for them to have because this is very basic, like jail cell, like at the very and least, stuff. yeah. They had lights that did rose. Stop. Oh, that's Stop. what it was. Yeah. I just thought it was lights. I didn't even fucking. Like I didn't even realize that they were like. Did you know what I mean? They had, I, the show, first of all, had no set design at all. And it's 1920s. It's all about the glamour, the glitz, the yeah. fucking bedazzle, the jewels. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the acting of it all because okay, yeah. the lead that played Velma. Great voice, amazing voice. But this is my thing. The Broadway is the way I was taught in a four-year conservatory university program saying that you need to be a triple threat. When they mean a triple threat, like you need to literally be able to sing, sing dance, and act. and act. So the lead, she does not know how to dance. She's not a dancer. Because every time she would dance, like she wouldn't point her feet and her toe. No. Like, yeah. The other thing that was weird is that the musical, like, it was literally just, like, it felt like a showcase of songs. It would, I'm not kidding, it would be a song. They would finish it, have, I'm not kidding, maybe a dialogue of two to three lines, and, and then, then go straight one. to the next oh, song. Oh, I hate when they do Sometimes that. they don't even do a dialogue. They'll literally finish a song, and the next person just comes out and starts singing the second I song. I'm sorry, but the money that we paid to go see this, I just, like, I, I don't know. I'm like, that's just not, I'm sorry, but I've seen cheaper stuff that wowed me and left me crying in the theater than that. Like, I should have walked away wanting to dance the number on the street. Oh, my God, Instead, yeah. I actually was sitting there at some points in the program, literally opening it up in the middle of a number, being like, how many numbers are, like, musical numbers are left? Like, I'm almost ready to go home. Stop. Yeah. Come sit down. Oh. <laughs> we have changed into a new outfit. We apparently have a rooftop bar slash DJ here. In our hotel screen, we'll go check that out and see what's up. Love you. You know I must really love her if I'm getting back out of bed to go out. You're not getting back out of bed. You are already out. Good morning, honeys. It is our last day in New York. It is also the most gorgeous day in New York right now. It is so sunny outside. We're gonna check out of the hotel right now. Our flights are not until the evening, so we literally have the whole day. We're gonna go get some breakfast, and then after breakfast, we are gonna finally go down to Times Square, and then we're gonna go to the Met Museum today, am I right? Yes. Which we're really excited about. And then, I don't know, just kinda see where life takes us up to that and hang out. We're getting our last coffee and bagels in New York, ladies. Oh my god. That's I know. why I said to get bagels for breakfast. Yeah, because it's like, like I need a New York bagel. It's a New York yeah. bagel, it's a New York staple. We gotta get those bagels. We got a cup of coffee. A banana because I haven't had a banana in so long. Water, gluten free bagel with, because I can't do dairy, they had this, it's like a tofu spread, so it's like a scallion tofu spread. I think it's almost like cream cheese vibe, but made out of tofu. It's like a very small <laughs> child size, but that's kind of what it looks like on the, yeah. Mmm. Good? Mmm. Look at that. Mm. Oh, the tofu spread literally tastes like, like cream cheese. I wouldn't even say it tastes like tofu. Oh, good. We are on our way right now to the Met Museum. We're gonna walk around there and then probably grab lunch, food or something, coffee, and just hang out until we have to fly out. So that's sort of the vibe that we have going on right now. Okay, this is it, we got our bags. We are literally just waiting at the hotel. is going back to LA, so she's taking a different flight from us. Bye. Bye! We are in 
the Newark, New Jersey airport. It is absolutely busy and there's so many children here as you can probably hear in the back everyone's like screaming and crying. We actually don't fly out for literally two hours. The food here is not good and no gluten-free options so it looks like I am uh, starving. We had such a good time. It was a beautiful trip and now we're going home and I'm not gonna lie I have never been more excited for a home-cooked meal, laundry, and no alcohol. <laughs> We got veggie chips, a nice big old large coffee that also cost us probably $25. We have landed. Oh my god, hello Canada. Is that him with his curly hair right there? I think so. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it was the wrong curly hair guy. Oh. <laughs> Let's go the other way. <laughs> Good morning, my little New York honeys. Wow, I can't even, I'm like kind of like, I'm back in Toronto. How do I feel about that? <laughs> I had the most fabulous time. Like fabulous is even such an understatement. I have never been to New York and this is my first time going and I'm a, such a city girl, like I love the city, I will always live in the city. I was like, am I gonna like New York? Maybe it's gonna be a little too much of a city for me. I just loved it, everything about it, like the people, like how much stuff was going on, like this noise, the sounds, the, the smell, like like honestly the cockroaches, like the rats, like everything about it was, was just, like I love that sort of hustle and the bustle and like, everybody's just doing their thing and there's so much going on it's just absolutely amazing so i had like just a fabulous time i would love to go back keep in thought when you're going to new york city be ready if you're especially going during the time of how hot it is right now it was a heat wave almost every single day it was like 35 degrees with 90 percent humidity so bring to like change of clothes you will get sweaty you will get hot that is just how it's gonna go subway everywhere like Yes, you can take Uber here and there, but the Metro is really good. Their subway system is amazing. You can get anywhere any like at any time and the traffic in New York is really bad. So it just makes up more sense to take the subway and do be prepared. It is expensive. Going to the States is expensive. And I think being in New York, it's very expensive. I think in total for my entire week, I probably spent roughly like 1200 Canadian to 1500 Canadian dollars. And that was like me really trying to like not go crazy. Kind of want to say those pointers if you are looking to go to New York. Honeys, I love you so much. Thanks so much for coming along on my little New York trip. And I can't wait to go on another New York trip and vlog that one as well. Question of the video that I said in the beginning, what is your favorite uh, character from Sex and City and who do you resonate the most with? Comment down below, I would love to know. I love you honeys and I'm gonna see you all next Friday. Mm -hmm. Bye honeys.